Now let's discuss about list groups in Bootstrap. Basically in HTML we do have the ordered and unordered list to show the content in a list but if you want to show the list for some customized or maybe complex types you can go for the list groups in Bootstrap. So let's see what all classes are available here and how we can use them for making a list for the complex objects. So let's start working on list groups. So here in this example when I'm starting working with this list group I have taken an unordered list in which I have put a class called list group. It will contain the multiple list items with the class list group item. So I started with the plain text thing itself. So let's see how this list is currently looking like. All right, so here you can see there are few elements which are being decorated like this with the help of this list group class. Now, if you want, you can also add the badges as I have already covered badges, which is like a small span tag after a content. So here, that is what I have done like the new is the badge all right so there's 24 7 there is the new badge out there similarly discount offer again I will put a badge new so as soon as I will add the badges it will change a look to a bit like here you can see there are a couple of badges added with the new badge all right now inside this if you want to show that any of the item of this list is selected then you can add the active class as here you can see I have used the active class out here so what it will do when you will refresh this it will be look like it is being selected we have already worked with this active class several times in this tutorial so very similarly you can also start working here in order you want to show any selected element of the list. Now rather than keeping the plain text you can also give some customized list items out here. Now here I'm trying to put some customized elements in the list. For that what I have done is I'll start with the list group itself as I have done. You can observe I am not using the unordered list and list item tags out here. Rather, I am using the div so that I can put the customized element as well. So this one is the list group inside which I will put some hyperlinks with the class called list group items which I was doing for list items earlier. So now each group item here is containing the header that is h4 heading tag and the first one is selected. Now after that I am putting two more things but you can see I am not using the class active they are just list group items but again I am having the h4 tag inside both but these headings are followed by a small text as well so basically when I will see that in the browser I will get something like this so this one is the h4 with the active class this one is the h4 without the active one and followed by the paragraph and similarly I have done this for the second div as well so this is what I have done for my couple of things for customizing elements in the list group I will use div rather than the unordered list as I have said and similarly I am doing it for again for the second time where I am keeping a content like business website package so here you can see business website package followed by the similar things. So this is how you can start working with the list items in your bootstrap either with the unordered or ordered list tags or with the DIVs.